At LEAD Academy in Greenville, South Carolina, foundational skills are taught in a way that meets the needs of all learners and that values how primary students learn best. The Reading Foundation Skills Block is one hour of daily instruction and one critical component of EL Education's language arts curriculum. The skills block is structured with 15 to 20 minutes of whole group instruction and 40 to 45 minutes of differentiated small group instruction to ensure that all students are given systematic and targeted instruction to crack the alphabetic code. The skills block is based on the phases of reading and spelling development developed by Dr. Linnea Airy. These phases describe the types of alphabetic connections that readers are currently making. EL Education worked with Dr. Airy to break the phases down into microphases that more specifically track students' progression along the continuum as they become increasingly proficient readers. What I like about the EL curriculum is that it does provide us with uh, kind of a prof professional development um, in realizing exactly how it is that ki kids learn how to read. This curriculum is really designed around understanding students' microphases and understanding the microphases in general. And then once you understand those microphases and where those students fall, it's much easier to pinpoint what they need. In this video, you will learn how the hour of skills block unfolds, how to use various assessments to inform grouping and instructional planning, which curricular resources are available to you, yearly cycles and the K-2 continuum, and the power of a self-managed classroom and smooth transitions with song. When we read the story, you will grow. At the end, you'll say back what you know. Our song told us that we are going to gather around and we are going to listen to a story and read a story that we all can retell. Whole group instruction includes a brief opening followed by 10 to 15 minutes of work time. The reason why we start together is to acclimate the students or introduce them to a new topic. It could be that we're introducing a new sight word that day, that we're introducing a decodable reader. It's important that we spend those 15, 20 minutes together kind of going over what is on grade level and then we break up into smaller groups. During work time, students practice skills such as phoneme and grapheme identification, analyzing spelling patterns, or fluency. This is showing us it's a lowercase, so we need to find a lowercase i, okay? During differentiated small group instruction, teachers work with a small group of students in the same microphase. Students who are not working with the teacher engage in purposeful independent rotations, including accountable independent reading, word work, writing practice, and reading fluency. After they move from the whole group lesson into those small differentiated rotations, that's the meat of our skills block time. It's 45 minutes and that's where they're getting to work with groups and getting to work on activities that are differentiated based on their abilities. Students are grouped by microphases, which are informed by benchmark assessments. The assessment conversion chart allows teachers to determine the skills students need to build in order to move along the K-2 continuum of lessons. Not only are there benchmark assessments in skills block, but there are also ongoing assessments as well. We use snapshot assessments as well as cycle assessments. We are able to gather information on a regular and weekly basis um, on where their progress is headed and where they've been and what specific skills they need to work on. Embedded assessment lets teachers intentionally select targeted activities from the differentiated small group section of the lessons, the activity bank, the differentiation pack, and their own resources to meet the specific needs of students based on their microphases. Did anyone find any other IES words on these two pages? No, I didn't see any other ones either. While students engage in purposeful independent rotations, the teacher meets with approximately three small groups per day. Students who need the most support meet with the teacher every day. For each group, the teacher refers to the suggested activities provided in the lesson, including reteaching or extending the whole group lesson, or activities from the activity bank or differentiation pack. They do look forward to working with one another, but also working during that whole group time and getting to spend that quality time with me each day. Let's take a look at our second learn target. We were going to identify words that did not play fair. During closing an assessment, students identify what they did to become more proficient readers and set and reflect on personal goals. You stayed on topic? Yes. So what did you do when you got stuck on a word? Sonom. You sounded it out in your head. Could we sound it out out loud as well? Each of the year's four modules are broken up into five day cycles, each with an intentional sequence of instructional practices repeated throughout the year. 
everything comes back around so that it becomes much more fluid um, and natural for the teacher and the students because they know what to expect and we as the teachers know what to expect as well. Predictable cycles and repeated instructional practices both help foster and require a self-managed classroom. Creating a self-managed classroom is extremely important during Skills Block. We spend a lot of time at the beginning of the year not only setting those norms and the students set those norms on their own, we also practiced what it looks like to transition and what it looks like to just uphold those norms without the activities being there. And then when we did marry the two and practice our norms with our activities, it was just great to see that they really could manage themselves to accomplish something without the teacher and reminding them to do their work. They also like taking that responsibility and ownership for their learning and realizing that, oh, hey, I'm in charge of my learning now, I'm in charge of my own behavior, I'm in charge of my management, and that's a very empowering position for a second grader to be in. Throughout the skills block, songs provide joyful, smooth, and efficient transitions from whole group to differentiated small group instruction and in-between rotations. They know that their voices need to be singing versus talking. My students love going to skills block. They love being challenged and that brings them joy. I really love this curriculum. Thinking back to August, um, and where some of my kids were. I had kids that came in that couldn't read, couldn't speak English, and I am just so impressed with the progress that my students have made. I know a lot more specifically what their needs are, and I can plan in a much more intentional fashion to meet those needs and meet those students where they are and get them where they need to be.